7 Negative Traits of the Taurus Man Understanding the negative traits of Taurus men is important for anyone who is considering a relationship with a Taurus. If you understand the good side and the bad side, in advance, then you can make a proper decision about what exactly you are getting into. Sometimes people accuse me of being too hard on certain signs of the zodiac when I look at the negative traits and characteristics of signs. I believe that when you know the facts you will be better prepared to deal with the good times and the bad times. This special personality profile of the Taurus male is going to discuss the negative traits of the Taurus. The good news is the Taurus male is hardly alone among males of all other horse horoscope signs. All horse horoscope signs, whether for males or females, have a positive traits and negative traits. That is just a fact of life. In fact, if you look at life from many different angles, positive things can be negative things under a certain set of circumstances. In the same way, negative elements can be quite positive under a certain light. That is just how life is. It is all about perspective. It is all how you look at things. Keep this in mind when looking at the negative traits of the Taurus man. Taurus man. Taurus traits tend to focus on appearances. One of the biggest weaknesses of Taurus men is that they tend to focus on appearances. They tend to confuse the contents of the book with the cover of the book. Sure, we were told since we were little that we should not judge a book by its cover. Unfortunately, this is an ideal statement. This is how people should act, but you know and I know that many people are very superficial. Some people do not really have the luxury of time and money to truly know other people on a deeper level. Taurus men tend to focus on appearances because they are often in a hurry. They are often impatient. They look at appearances as shorthand for true substance. They look at the things that they can see as an indicator for the things that they cannot see. You cannot see the character of a person. You cannot see the person's ability to love, to trust. To build and to dream, you can only see what the person looks like and how the person behaves outside. The Taurus man does not have a problem equating appearances with things that truly matter, like character. This is precisely why this willingness to equate outward appearances with deep personal truth is what gets the Taurus man in all sorts of trouble. It is also a problem for Taurus and Gemini compatibility in 2014 and beyond. These negative traits of the Taurus male can cause real problems when they are matched with softer signs of the zodiac. Why is this a problem? The reality is that what you see outside may be a temporary thing. Also, there are many different aspects of a person that what you see outside might just be a reflection of one particular aspect. It is very unfair to judge a person just based on one aspect of that person's life. Unfortunately, Taurus men can be quite conventional in this respect, and have no problems writing off people if they do not measure up based on appearances. This can have a devastating effect on females who are trying to get the eye of a Taurus man, and it is perhaps one of the worst traits of the Taurus male personality for this reason. Taurus men get too caught up in material things. In keeping with the Taurus man's predisposition to focus on things that you can see and things that you can perceive, Taurus guys can be very materialistic. When we say materialistic we do not just mean focusing too much on money or making money or focusing on the things money can buy, we are also talking about how they navigate the world in terms of values. There are two major ways to look at the world. You can look at the world in material terms or you can look at the world in terms of ideal terms. Idealistic people look at things that can be or the way things should be, whereas materialists, look at the world as it is. There is, of course, a downside and a good side to these ways of looking at the world. The good side of the idealist's way of looking at the world is that you can come up with dreams that can push the world forward. Idealists like Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, they push the world forward because they imagine a world that does not yet exist. The problem is that, it is too easy to get caught up in ideals and end up waiting for a world that will never take shape. On the other hand, Taurus men tend to go to the other extreme, 
which is looking at the world from a purely materialist perspective that they have lost imagination. They are so fixated on the way things are that they have lost connection to their ability to imagine a better world. They have dreams of a better world but often are too enslaved to the way things currently are. Taurus men confuse the price of things with real value. It is not uncommon for Taurus men to give gifts and equate the emotional value of that gift with how much money they spent. In the same way, when they receive gifts, they tend to size up the value of the gift based on how much the gift costs. The emotional value or sentimental value of a gift oftentimes escape them. They just focus on dollars and cents. This can really grate on friendship relationships and definitely romantic relationships. In my experience you cannot equate emotional value, spiritual value or intellectual value with pricing. Unfortunately, Taurus men are quite unimaginative in this respect, and tend to confuse the price of things with the value of things. They do not always go hand in hand. Things that may cost a penny, might actually be valuable. Things that cost a lot of money may actually be, at the final analysis, completely worthless. Try telling that to a Taurus man and good luck with that. Taurus Traits and Friendship If you do not like to be used, if you do not like to be manipulated, then you need to keep your eyes peeled when dealing with male Taurus friends. The reality is that, Taurus men are all about you scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. In other words, the value of friendships turns around how useful those friendships are. Instead of looking at friends as friends, they tend to look at friends as allies. They tend to look at the world in terms of alliances. Can this alliance get me to where I need to go? Can this alliance get me what I want? Compare this with real friendship. Real friendship is when you have a relationship with somebody that might not necessarily be able to help you. That person might not have the connections that will enable you to make more money. That person might not have the skills that can enable you to make the right connections that will bring you wealth, but you are still friends with that person. Why? That person completes you. That person gives you encouragement. That person challenges you. This is all a foreign language to the Taurus male. Friendships, emotional partnerships, they all have dollar sign. They all have a practical value to the Taurus male. If there is no use value, there is no use being in the relationship. That is a key downside to the Taurus male mindset. Taurus men neglect their emotional lives. Since Taurus men tend to be so materialistic, it is not uncommon for them to truly be disconnected from their emotional life. It is not uncommon to see a very wealthy Taurus man break down near the end of his life or during a midlife crisis, and question how he has been living up to that point. It is not uncommon for Taurus guys to just snap out of it and take their lives to a completely different direction. It is not uncommon for a previously high-flying investment banker Taurus males to just give it all up and become teachers in the third world or backpack their way throughout the globe. This happens when they neglect their emotional life. If you are a Taurus male, you do not have to undergo such drastic changes. All you need to do is just pay attention to your emotional life. You are worth more than the money you make. You are worth more than the degrees you have. For you to be a complete person, you have to pay attention to your emotional life, your spiritual life, your philosophical life. You have to focus on the sense of meaning. You should focus on the meaning of your life. Once you pay attention as to why you do things, everything else will take care of themselves. Your strict focus on practicality keeps you from growing spiritually. For human beings to be truly happy, they have to be truly developed. Human beings often follow a developmental schedule that starts with taking care of basic need first. Basic needs like sex, food, the ability to dominate others, are felt very early on in life. We all feel these. We all need to go through these steps. This is why we often date a lot when we were younger. This is why we experiment with many different partners when we were younger. This is why we tried different jobs when we were younger, but when we mature, different needs come into play. 
there is a need to be compassionate. Eventually, this leads to a need to transcend. This is the highest need. When you reach this level, your life truly has meaning. Unfortunately, many Taurus men get stuck at the basic levels. They either get stuck at the need to dominate other men or women. They get stuck at the need for money of put food on the table. This truly is a tragedy. You become spiritually retarded when you focus on basic needs. There is more to life than earning a lot of money. There is more to life than driving a big car. There is more to life than wearing the right clothes. Unfortunately, spiritually retarded people do not get this. Taurus men tend to attract superficial or needy women. The Achilles heel of a Taurus man is a vain and superficial woman. Women that place too much emphasis on how they look and how other people think of them, can be very draining to the Taurus man. Unfortunately, they approach these women like moths to a flame. They cannot even recognize these troubling signs. In fact, they often misread these signs as positive things. This is why it is not uncommon for Taurus men to end up with gold diggers. They end up with women that abuse them, not just emotionally but also financially. This is one negative trait that you really need to get a handle on if you want to live a happy life. Why? Your choice of spouse can truly change the direction of your life. It does not matter how successful you are, does not matter how much you feel you are in control of your life right now, if you partner up with the wrong person, your life can go down the drain fairly quickly.